video, we're going to take a look at creating the menu screen. In the previous video, we copied the login screen by holding on Alt and dragging. But another faster way to do that is by selecting the artboard, making a copy by pressing Ctrl C and just pasting by pressing Ctrl V. And that's going to automatically create a new artboard for us, which is pretty handy. And we're going to go and select this and just call this the menu screen or home screen, whatever you want to call it. And good. Now we want to go and just manipulate and adjust all of these uh, sizes of the uh, rectangles and shapes and create the menu screen. So the first thing is I'm going to delete my logo and I'm also going to go and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and change this to videos and this is going to be changed uh, to playlists. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this rectangle and just shrink this up a teeny tiny bit like so. And we can select these three parts and just move them up. Okay. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit closer so we can perfectly align it. And there we go. That's looking great. Okay, let's come over here, focus on this part. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this text, make a copy just by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And we're going to move it over here right in the center. And this is going to be, uh, let's say, dashboard. Awesome. Now I'm going to go back to my previous document. So which is going to be this. And I'm going to copy these three icons that we have. So I'm going to just select all of these three copy and come back over here and choose paste. Okay. And we can just move them over to the side like so. And uh, that's, that's pretty good. Now this dashboard, we can place it right here in the center of this. So I think that's fine enough. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select uh, all these things that we don't want and I'm just going to go ahead and delete them. We don't want this as well. So let's just delete that. So now we have a plain document over here. Now we're going to do a little bit of math here. So I'm going to select this. Now I'm going to make this to a round figure, which is going to be 170 and just to move this rectangle a little bit down. Here is my calculator. Now the, the height of this is 360 by 540, which means the height is 640. Now, if I take my calculator and I'm going to type in 640 minus 170, which is the height of this. So that we can just click once to verify that. And I'm going to minus this by 170. Click on equal to, that gives me 470. Now, if I divide this by 3 and plus equal to, I get 156.67. So I'm just going to probably round this off to 157. So 157 is the number that I want. So why do I need this number? So I'm going to select this rectangle, make a copy by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and I'm just going to go and drag this down. Okay. Now this is going to be 157. And why is it going to be 157? You're going to know why. For now, let's just go and set this fill to, you know, like a pure black color. And I'm going to select this, the text layer, make a copy by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and we're going to go bring this down and I'm going to place it right over here in the center, the corner. And uh, I'm just going to call this video one. I'm also going to go and grab a circle and I'm going to make sure it's the same height as the text. Okay. And uh, no border, just the fill and uh, the fill, we're going to set it to white for now. And let's zoom out back and let's just select the circle and move it over to the side. We probably might need a bigger circle. So let me just zoom in and hold down shift and then just make this a pretty big circle okay that's good enough and let's select this text make a copy pressing ctrl c ctrl v and you're just going to go add in a random number so let, probably let's say 56 just a random number we're going to change that later anyway if we want to and i'm going to set the fill of this to black now why am i doing all this that's because we're going to create copies of this using the repeat grid now i'm going to select all of this so let's select all of this by holding down shift and I'm going to press repeat grid. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and scale this down and until we get the last part of our image and uh, come over here to the purple part and we're going to shrink this down until it becomes zero and just let go. Now what actually happened is all these three different boxes are off the same length and that's the reason I had to divide it by three so it perfectly sits. Now, before we click on ungroup, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in thumbnails of my previous tutorials. Unfortunately, I don't have my thumbnails of my tutorials. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into my folder and I'm going to select these three random pictures of superheroes. 
and come here in Startup XD and then just drag it and drop it over here. Now it's gonna take some time to calculate and then automatically throw all those and it automatically perfectly crops it as well. Now one thing you wanna keep in mind when doing this is that this works only if you are in the grid mode and if you choose ungroup and you try to do it, it's not gonna happen. So now that's one thing you wanna keep in mind. And then what we can do, you can choose ungroup grid and just rename this. So I'm just gonna uh, rename this to the flash. Uh, you can change the color of this if you want. This is gonna be double click, this is gonna be Iron Man. And over here, this is gonna be the Avengers, okay? Uh, so now that we have created so much, we're gonna go and just make a little bit of changes to this. So I don't want the circle to be complete white. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna right click and choose ungroup and uh, I can individually select the circle. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So right click ungroup and right click and choose uh, ungroup. And I can select this circle and, whoops, this circle and uh, this circle. And I can just go and reduce down the opacity of this to you know something like let's say 50 percent so let's just drop in a 50 and uh, that's good and the color we can change this to white um of the number so let's go and just change that to white or we can leave it a complete black uh, that's completely up to you uh and then let's just change the numbers on this so we can probably set this to 25 and this is going to be something like you know 84 whatever just a random number Okay, so now this is looking really good. So now that we have completed uh, all this, uh, the menu screen, we can now go ahead in the next part, create uh, the statistics screen. So basically when I touch on the one of these uh, videos, I get a list of statistics, which I can then uh, customize to uh, see for a different period of time. So thank you guys so much for watching this part and I'll see you guys in the next part.